Hello everybody, it is Eisenox is bringing you some more Elder Scrolls Blades content. Now, the other day I said that I was going to give a better in-depth review of this new Early Access mobile game. I have not done that until today. So, the last time I gave some quick overviews and some extra information, but I, I want to go a little deeper. So, what is the game? The game is set in the Elder Scrolls universe, uh, in some no-named town, uh, and you are some warrior who has not been around for a while, and... The townspeople need your help. You come home after a long expedition or adventure or join the military or whatever, and your your home is being attacked. So you defend them and you kill a bunch of bandits and then you meet a bunch of NPCs you actually don't care about. And then they give you this town building system. So that's what the game's premise is. You're some hero of this town now running it, trying to get it back to its former glory finding out the reasons why it all happened in the first place. It's an interesting thing, but, you know, it, it's pretty pretty overused and not exactly what you expect from a Elder Scrolls games. You'd kind of want a little bit more epicness in it. Um, so, where to start with this? Let's start with the game's mechanics. You can either play it face up like this, or, um, uh, what is that called? Uh, horizon mode? When you put it on it, on, uh, horizontally. Now, depending on how the game launches, that is how it stays. You cannot switch screens from vertical to horizontal mid-game. There's no option for it or anything. So, if you launch it in horizontal mode, it'll launch in horizontal mode and stay that way. It's kind of shitty, but, you know. The, the game's mechanics are interesting. Um, you press to attack, uh, press and hold to attack, you learn skills and abilities, and, you know, it, the combat is satisfying enough for a mobile version of an action game. Um, it's not too complicated, it's not too difficult, but it is very gear dependent, and gear takes time to obtain. So that is the, the combat. The town town building I dislike a lot in this game actually. Um, I've always been a big fan of town building games. I, I really like the aspect of building something like that that gives you benefits in the game. But I don't like the way they do it. I honestly don't care about running around the town talking to people going into the menus and shit, I, I just don't, I don't care for that stuff, um, I, I don't, I don't care for this system, I, I'd rather have a top-down system of, like, town building, like, it is traditionally, that's not what I was trying to hit, uh, exit the main menu, um, then there are the chests, now, so that's town, that's combat, chests, Chests are your main resource of getting new loot, new items, uh, really good items, magical items, all from chests. The wooden chest here takes five seconds to open. The silver chests take three hours. The one right above that takes six hours. Now, that's a very large jump, and you're not even guaranteed to get a lot of good shit out of the gold chest or the silver chest. They are supposed to be reworking how long the silver chest takes. Soon, the game is still in early access, so you gotta keep that in mind. But, for what it is, you never want to spend your, your hard-earned premium currency. In fact, you might not want to spend it uh, buy any premium currency at all in this game. It's still in early access. There are things that you buy that you could think you need there's no guarantee that it'll be, you know, good for you, if that makes sense. Like, there's no guarantee that in the next patch they won't just remove whatever you spent money on. So, in in sum, let's do a, a good, bad, and ugly.
Good. Combat mechanics, mobile games for Skyrim. Uh, not mobile, uh, mobile, uh, mobile game Elder Scrolls. Wow, I don't know why I had such struggle there. Um, cool design, good models, good graphics. Bad. Uh, load times. Load times are pretty bad sometimes. Sometimes you can't even get into the game. Um... Prices in the store. The Abyss mode, which I didn't really talk about much. It, it's basically an endless dungeon. And it gets hard real fast. And it's not all that fun. Um, ugly. The chest mechanics. They want you to spend money on opening these chests faster so you don't have to wait so you can play the game more. The chest mechanics are kind of bad. And store prices. Also, I would I would categorize categorize the town as bad. Um, it all looks pretty, but I I don't care for walking around the town to find the one little spot that I can place my banner, etc. etc. And that's my review. Um, all in all, I I enjoy playing it. I'm going to keep playing it through its old, uh, early access. Really, I only log in to rotate the next chest because on my first day playing I gathered up like 20 some silver chests and I've slowly been dwindling them down since so I play like one or two missions a day and that's about it which is good it gives me more time to focus on Danmachi and Doken um, all in all I, I'll give this if I had to give it a number some sort of scale that is up to 10 I give it a 7 a 7 for now we'll see what they do with it Let's see how Bethesda works with it um, really my hopes are they improve optimization I'm running on a Google Pixel 3 and it lags a lot sometimes I mean I have a brand new fucking phone you know good graphics good photo mode etc and it, it lags pretty bad, so hopefully they, they fix that, and hopefully they fix the chests, and that'll be it. Thanks guys for watching, check you later, peace.